Right. Hello, everybody. It is I, Scott Mac. With me is fellow friend Skidge, who currently doesn't talk, but he's using a TTS. Do not ask why. Chicken nuggets. Yes. And that one's weird. So. Which one do you want? Uh, may as well go for Yakko at this point. Make a full, full Yakko. So. We may as well give some insight to this. Me and Skidge created this, what some could only describe as a monstrosity of a game. That being Kokoro Run. So to basically start, because I'm going to be the one doing most of the talking here. This whole idea just came as a big joke. It first started off with a simple art joke. With me and Sketch just simply saying, Hey, let's just do this. I was just going to say I had a case of deja vu right there. But anyway. We did this funny art joke where we did the, the gosh darn it Chris where the hell are we um thing. Probably have to censor that out. And it kind of escalated from there. We then did the, the wide Susie meme with Scott Mac and we made a rendition of Zaki. And eventually we came to the point where we're like, you know, we have the time and the resources to do this. Why don't we just do it? I did a f I had the idea IIRC. What? <laughs> Your thing speeds up from time to time. So... Yeah. After that, we then just simply said, right, let's just sit down, let's just do this. And, yeah. And that's basically how it all started. Just a, a joke lean to another joke lean to a big, big joke. And... Yeah. Now we were going to talk about all the references in here, but I feel that's not what we should do. What I think we should do is just talk about how we actually came by all these things. So... Skid, of course was the one that did all of the sprites. He didn't do all of them though, in saying that. He's he's done, I'd say he did 95% of it. The other five were done by me. And... I get all of them. Well, I did a couple of them. But, I, fine, I'll give you 98 then. That's a good percentage. So... The first t problem we had and the first thing we did was the legend. The legend was basically the proof of concept of whether Cockroach Rune would actually be a thing. If we can get the legend done, it means everything could be done. And so we made... Look at this magnificent room. Yes, this room is... When I first saw it, it was an eyesore to me, but a good eyesore. It's like... Skidge's internal... I kind of did last minute. <laughs> yeah, it, it has that kind of last minute Skidge vibe to it. See, as I was saying, the first problem we faced was who was going to be Chris. And we took a while. We had many suggestions. We had Skidge. We had Scott. I'm so cool with my recommendation. <laughs> we had Skidge. We had like a whole bunch of other members. In fact, it was even considered me at one point. But we ultimately decided to choose Zaki. Because from the Metopia streams, we noticed that Zaki was a knight. And Chris is a knight, so we thought, you know what, it fits. And I think, looking back, it's probably the best choice we've made. So, 
we may as well also get context for this. This is inspired by a repaint mod, Deltarune Repainted, I think it's called. Scourge, correct me if I'm wrong. Which was basically MS Paint Nightmare Fuel. It was cursed, it was weird, it was wacky. Basically what this is, but this is basically a more toned down version. We got great inspiration from that and as you see through the starting parts of it, it's nonsensical. There's everything related to the team in here, but nothing actually coherently makes sense. It's all modge podge together in a way. So, it's all crap. Yes, to to basically say that it is just all crap. Um, what basically happened was we didn't have a plan going forward. Like there wasn't a story or anything. It was just do whatever fits the scene and make it look funny. Like look at like for instance, we got R two D two as a trash can. That's just a my really brain just vomited whatever came you know. out. Yeah, our brains basically vomited anything that we had. So like we have R two D two as like the t as like a trash can, Kool Aid flavored shampoo. It's just nonsensical stuff. Um, what? Oh yeah. So the design philosophy of like some of the characters, like. Toriel has been swapped to be Steve from Blue's Clues. That's done because Zaki's idol is Steve from Blue's Clues. So he thought, may as well just make it like, <laughs> make it like his parent or something. And we've got a montage of sketch flush in the toilet. A lot of the quirky jokes that Toby had make, we basically like reverse engineered. To make it into something even more wacky and nonsensical. I also did scripts on the fly. Yes, so what happened with that was Sketch did the majority of the art, but I did the majority of the script. And what we. we, 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 we my tongue didn't work. It originally was going to be that it was just going to be Sketch did the art and I did the script. But we then decided that we'd both make a version of like the script and when we refer to the script we're meaning the in-game dialogue like text item descriptions everything and we both made a version and it then got merged together and i think that contributes to the wackiness but the majority of the start like, I'd say from here to, I think, up to the start of the forest was basically the, the entirety of mine. There were a few things that Sketch had added, but, yeah. There's like a whole hodgepodge of characters here from different media and whatnot, but... I got a lot of how Skidge made it the Walls and Grobbit theme here <laughs> for no reason, no sense at all, other than the Walls and Grobbit theme. We also took a lot of music from Sil Saliva Gunner, I think. Silver. I kind of wish I changed the car TBH. Saliva Gunner. Yeah, just yeah. So we just like Saliva Gunner. Right there. Or Silver Gunner. Silver, Silver, whatever. The the guy that makes the cursed reps. Classroom. It was originally... I don't even know what it was originally going to be, but we just had a hodgepodge. It was basically just take a bunch of names from people in the team and just think, who's who? Um, Spampton, who replaces Temmy, was actually going to be Dot, but... We decided to change that for some reason. We don't actually have a lot of reasoning for some of our changes. It's just, does it seem funny? Yes, change it. Shout so, outs to Scott for fixing Spamden. <laughs> yeah, so. 
And then we've got Jamie over here. There are some characters that we immediately knew who was going to be who. But... When it came to, like, characters like Burgley, we kind of struggled with figuring out who it is, and we just thought... Like, we kind of picked names out of a hat. And we were originally going to make, um, Joe Man here actually be Christina's father, but we thought... Nah. So we just changed it to Kirby, aka Joe Man, for no reason. And then we got spaghetti and pancakes, because... To... To Craven Doos. Because <laughs> you know, that's Christina's favorite food. And that's basically it. We've got Wario for some Smoking reason. Hungry challenge. <laughs> I don't I, I, I don't know, like what's what's the rationale behind the Alvin and the Chipmunks poster? Like what what's the logic for that? This Wario Sprite I borrowed from my friend. Yeah, so we also borrowed a lot of sprites as well, obvious by um, Kirby and Spamton. And the whole Jackbox at the top there, that's because Jackbox is a frequent game that we play. But overall, like, the classroom's basically just like an introduction to like the majority of people. Follow him on DeviantArt, his name is coolest F word ER around. Yeah, we had some jokes in here that I've realized that were actually kind of, like, not- In fact, this is in Sonic Girl. <laughs> then who is, is Joanne? Actually, one of my friends. Wait, then who is it then? Hamsters run this town. Oh. So we both got it wrong. Huh. Uh, what else is there to talk about the classroom? Well, I do remember we Your Sonic is one of our biggest jokes. Um, I remember we changed the clock's description to be like, it's high noon from like Overwatch. And we got some of the team members to say A-E-I-O-U to get the, the, the talking sound effects. We, we didn't change all of them. And here comes me. So Jojo. Yeah, Jojo. So I can't remember what the exact rationale was behind how I became Susie. I guess it was just I knew I had to be a yeah, main yeah. character. I knew I had to become a main character somehow. That's all I knew. I had to become one. But I didn't know who. I originally opted to be Rousey, but we then decided out of all of them, the best one would be Susie, because we then decided to make Skidge Rousey, and since Saki already took up Chris, we had to make me Susie, which I think actually turned out not bad in the end. Whoa, 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 spoilers, Scott. <laughs> yeah, I should probably say this developer commentary is like, um... That's for anyone that has finished the game. But I assume if you're watching the developer's commentary, then you're obviously finished the game. So that's kind of on you then. Ow, I just kicked my knee onto the desk. Average um, high school. Yeah, this, this, this really is just average high school. But, yeah. Aren't poggers? <laughs> yep. We had a lot of like random references to things. I think that's the charm of this. Just this is one of my favorite lines. <laughs> Scott is very jerk face. He said, "Beep beats eight poggers." Yeah. Also, this is Canada outdated in terms of jokes. Yeah, a lot. Of, like. A lot of the jokes that we put in either become so outdated, it's like, come on. Or it's just... Right, so Wario says, I just noticed, um... He said, he mentions about nuclear bombs in Gmod. That is an actual thing that happened. Me and Skidge just playing around with nuclear bombs in Gary's mod. So we also make references to actual events in the game, which... 
probably why this game never saw public release because the jokes are so like inside jokes it's like if we send it to someone else it's like what do they even mean when me and scott played mod there's at least one time where scott nuclear bombs me <laughs> yeah and then there's this scene this was one of the i'd say this is one of the best scenes it was like it was one of the first scenes that basically made sure we were on track for like trailers and whatnot. You can get banned for eating weed. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. I doubt it tastes good in it. And on saying that, that's actually a cut joke. Originally, German was supposed to say um about weed that it's gone missing four hundred and twenty times. So in a way, that's kind of a leftover joke. The schoolhouse is kind of just a nightmare of like MS Paint crudely made stuff. Although in saying that, we didn't actually use MS Paint, we used GIMP to make all of our sprites. I forged your tonic poster dialogue skull. I don't even know why the SpongeBob box is there now that I realize it. Star Wars. Star Wars? Yeah, this I put that there. <laughs> what, what what was the rationale behind this the SpongeBob box? Again on the fly. <laughs> yeah, that that's basically kind of our rationale for anything. If it doesn't make sense, plop it in and just come up with stuff on the fly. Originally my jaw was, originally my jaw was supposed to unhinge a lot bigger than that. Yeah, there's like so many references in this game that I'd genuinely be shocked if anyone figured out every single one of them. Even I don't remember every single reference, which is probably why I'm struggling to give commentary here i'm just thinking what like it has been a while since we have done this though so my memory is kind of vague i was hoping sketch would talk more but hmm. if this game had a public release ever we need to edit every nonsense joke <laughs> why not i thought i think nonsense jokes make it funny um all right, so we've got the cupboard here. Oh boy. The no lie, I don't, don't make sense. Context. Ah, context, yeah. I guess that would make sense, but hey. Eh. Who needs context? Literally, the best topic in Twitter is out of context stuff. But hey. So the cupboard. Oh boy, the cupboard. I think the cupboard was the one that got the least amount of changes, as in script-wise. Yadder yadder. <laughs> You're just gonna say yadda yadda every time I try to explain something? No, every time there's Jojo. Oh, how did I miss that? Um... <laughs> Well then, there you go, you can keep a tally of every Jojo meme that Skedge makes. Yeah, so the cupboard was the one that got the least amount of changes. Like, script-wise. Basically, like, well I mean, there's not like much you could change about it, there's literally nothing in the cupboard. <laughs> and then, the fall here. Stepping on baby faces. <laughs> The fall here is, um, that got changed twice. One had a weird image of a hockey player, I don't know who that is, but then Skedge changed it to this. And I think that did it for the Best better. Scene. Yes. And if you, had, if you had a keen eye, you would notice that Zaki actually changes into his, um, Warner Animaniac self midway through the fall. Absolute gold. Yeah, it is an absolute gold scene. I'd say that's like one of the best scenes in it. And there's a Family Guy death pose because we had to put in the Family Guy death pose. 
In fact, it was me that specifically said that Zaki should do the Family Guy death pose after he falls. This tile set was also on the fly. Yeah, so we didn't know what to make of this. We were going to make a, an area from Team Fortress 2, but we kind of just... Sketch just showed me something. I was like, how do I edit this? Yeah, Sketch just was like, what do we actually do? And we were just like, I don't know. And then he just showed me they just put something together, and I'm just like, that's good. The other repaint stole the portal idea. Yeah, the port, yeah, the... The other, um, repaint, they had done the portal idea already, so... We couldn't use portal. As tempting as it was, we couldn't use it, because we wanted to differentiate ourselves. So we just made it the Super Mario World yeah, Underground. Yeah, Mario World Underground. Yeah, so as I was just saying, we've decided to make it the Super Mario Underground for absolutely no reason other than... Why not? Someone should also keep a tally of how many times I say why not. It's because it's Zaki's favorite game. Ah! I, don't, I had an odd feeling that that was the case. But I'd say, like, I love the Zaki, like, animations in this are, like, really smooth for what they should be. Like, there's a lot of character in the animation. I say this whole thing is my magnum opus so far. Yeah, it, it's kind of a magnum opus. Well, in game wise, like for me, a magnum opus would probably be an animation. But I'm thinking like so, uh, like it's not it's not really hard to do this. Like I'd say anyone who can use a paint software and use the Undertale mod tool, I think anyone could do this. In the future, to make an actual. Yeah, I, I also plan to try to make a game at some point, but I'll just have to wait for that. It's gonna be called Shift and Gear. Hmm. And it's gonna be awesome. Well, I'd like to hope so. And we got Scott Mac in here. So, first of all, I'd like to add, Scott Mac's out for in the dark. Stop running away. <laughs> yeah. So, Scott Mac's outfit in this is based off of my actual outfit in real life. Apart from the pink trousers. Well, not pink, the purple trousers. Um... So, like, the dark blue jacket and the red scarf, that is something I actually wear. <laughs> I didn't even realize- Level 1 Warner, he is now a furry. Awesome description. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was a description in the game. Then we got the, the killer worm from Spongebob, replacing the, the, the spires. We didn't change any of the projectiles. Um, this song here had been, there were like, at least, I think, two changes. There was the Sonic X theme of all things. And then I put forward the idea of, hey, maybe we should make it the, the chase music from Majora's Mask. And it kind of stuck with that. Although we don't really have a canonical reason as to why they're firing speeds. We should have changed it to something else, but I don't know. And then we got the beginning area of Final Fantasy Freddy's 3, the arcade thing. I agree with the music idea. Yeah. A lot of the music ideas we did back and forth. Like, one of us would say, hey, we wanted to be this, but then the other would I be I was like, worried there'd be too much Sonic Yeah. We wanted to not have too much of one thing. We wanted it to try to have an equal balance. So, <laughs> we had a FNAF reference at the start, which is now changed to Minecraft, of all things. I don't even know, what was the rationale behind Minecraft? I'm editing this. 
What was what Tile was, set. What was the rationale for changing it to Minecraft? Again on the plot. I can't remember didn't we have something else before that? No, no, because we wanted to we wanted to make the, the FNAF um games, but we decided to change it to Minecraft for no apparent reason. And then the most amazing amazing uh, ma ma my tongue didn't work then. The most amazing change Changing the cloaked Rousey to be Bob from Super Mario MG. Of course, it's not Bob. Be with his Kyle said. <laughs> it's not Bob. It's obviously not Bob. Not Bob. <laughs> it, it's got. It's literally got not Bob written on it. And here we go. The prophecy. The first ever thing we did. And it is magnificent. <laughs> it's not. Bob. Even the legend. Was I wish changed. we could put more on this. Yeah, we could. We could have put more on it. It kind of lacks a bit. But like, what else could we? I have just slap stuff onto the screens. Yeah, like, but the real question we have is like, what could we have done, really? <laughs> but even then, the legend is still amazing. Toby, I'm hiring. <laughs> yep. So am I. Yeah, so the panels the panels had changed a couple of times. I remember when I first saw the first ever change to the legend, I burst out laughing. I couldn't read the text. It was just too funny. Honestly, we should work on Deltarune. We get so much done. Yeah. And I just love him, um... The, the best part about a lot of these is the fact that we literally just slap something on. It's like, is it gonna be funny? Yep, yeah. <laughs> slap it on. Like, we've literally just added Zaki's face on top of the Chris sprite. It's not even a single change, it's just slap it on there and hope it works. And it does work. My Warner Sana was originally gonna be named Gouda, that's why you see Gouda a lot. Yeah, and then we just decide... Yeah. yeah, we just decide... Nah, sketch. Did, what, wasn't there a giant chicken on this one? I remember in a prototype version... No way. Yeah. in real life. And then that was it a was a chicken thing. <laughs> yeah, it, it, like there was a. Ch I think it's still in the in the initial trailer for the game. It basically just says, "Hi, Christina." <laughs> we also there was a lot of like plot holes in a way. Sometimes we refer to as the game of Warner. Sometimes we just refer to as the legend. Didn't Alice get tracking? Yeah. What was with Garfield Cart now I think about it? I like Garmfield. <laughs> yeah, we kind of made it a joke to make it um make the story be I want to pirate no way home. <laughs> I don't even know why we changed it to Swanky Leg, but whatever our choice was, it was a good one. ERM, it's Stanky Leg. <laughs> yep. And of course, that's from Sella Vagana again. And then the first fight! The fight, the fights were chaotic. I will say that. These icons kick. They really do. 
they've changed a couple of times, but ultimately, it's just amazing. Like, 10 out of 10. And then I personally said, give me a gun. For the sheer, like, I love guns. It's a separate version of the Japanese. Yeah, there is a separate It had me for a bit. Um, watcher, watcher sprites are probably the funniest ones to make because it is essentially just slap on watcher's face on top of Lancer and reskin like the whole thing. <laughs> like a lot of the faces. Originally, it's gonna be just one head slapped on all of them. Yeah. Originally it was going to be lazy, but I was like, nah. But I actually had effort once. So, a lot of the faces you see are actually from Metopia. So, Watcher's face was directly taken from it. So, the ones that were directly taken was Unwatcher, theoretically Zaki, because Zaki's entire design is based off of his appearance in Metopia. And... Christina. They are all... And I think Hamster Runs This Town is also another one. But, yeah, a lot of them are. Right. Sketch made a custom end animation for Scott Mac, and it's amazing. I just want to tip my hat off and say that is amazing. <laughs> and then we got Rousey here. Or as he prefers to himself as Stock Rousey. Stock Rousey. Yes, Stock Rousey. Yes. We will admit we did a lazy route with that because we didn't want to reveal that Rousey was sketched the whole time. We wanted to make the joke that... Don't confuse the two. Yeah, we wanted to make the joke that it looks like it's just going to be Rousey. We thought, oh, hey, let's just... Oh, it's just Rousey. But we alluded to multiple times that... It is not Rousey. And so when the reveal comes at the end, it's like, wow. We actually caught people off guard. That was the thing that shocked me when it came to the finale of the game, that people were actually shocked that Rousey was not Rousey. Matt Packet cracking. Yeah, that's right. You, if you're Gregory as a robot theory, get cracking. Yeah, now comes the best part of the whole body pillow Yako. <laughs> Which will forever be a running joke. Christina absolutely blew up. She really did. Probably because she least expected it to come back. Um, what was the rationale behind, um, changing the heart to be Discord? Because I remember there was a while that it was just the heart, but then we decided to turn it to Discord logo. It's because of the Discord theme. And I guess that also makes sense because, you know, hey, it's a Discord server. So it makes sense. I actually just noticed there, there's a there's an animation error. Well, a sprite error. Zaki's hand... Behold the only attack. <laughs> yeah, so I just noticed Zaki's hand turns blue, back to blue, at the end of the attack sprite. Yeah, I think I'd say out of all the sprites in the game, I think Zaki is the most well done. Me and my homies hate this tutorial script. Uh, 
I'm just trying to think. Oh, and yes, everyone loved this scene. Although I'm, I'm willing to make a joke saying it looks like Zaki is actually kissing Rousey. <laughs> Which will probably feel a lot of fan fictions now that I realise it. Rousey fans eat your heart out. Wait, your text to speech thing pronounced as Reezy. <laughs> and yes, we what? and yes, we did make the every time um Zaki hugs he blushes. We specifically made that. And yes, we also we also included the we included the whole, if you look at Rousey for long enough, you'll blush. We added that as well, we we couldn't help it. <laughs> look at the Discord logo here. I presume you just took the sprite and flipped it. On. Four. Fly. Now, we're going to need to give context for this one. Originally, the Field of Hopes and Dreams was supposed to be called Star- was originally Stardust Speedway. Which is why it says Stardust Speedway. But- Misinformation. Yes, it is misinformation. It was originally supposed to be Stardust Speedway, but we changed it to we changed it to Bikini Bottom. I, I, actually, is this Bikini Bottom? I think this is the the Squid Field from Battle for Bikini Bottom. Jellyfish fields. Yeah, the jellyfish. That's what it is. The jellyfish. Uh, we just saw there the the Yakobots or the Macbots that they're actually called, because the original joke was going to be I need to brush up on your SpongeBob lore, Scott. Yeah, yeah, I need, I need to brush up on my SpongeBob lore. Um, originally we were going to make the joke that I was a bad guy, which theoretically I am in this story, but originally I was going to be the overarching villain, because you know. I like being the villain, but we just decided, nah, we we don't we don't want to do that. So we didn't change the name back. So they're still just Macbots because I've always had it that if I've ever to build a robot, I'd build a Yakobot. But to avoid copyright, I'd probably just call it the Macbot. In fairness, what I could have done was made robot versions of myself. And then they would truly be Macbots. And yeah, here's Chef Jester. Yeah, so we had um one of Skidge's old OCs as one of the characters. And of course we have the the cake. The cake is a lie. Go bad work yourself. That was a close one. And I don't know, do not question why we called this the Maze of Cheese. Scott, you have said cheese so many times to me. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess that is why we called it the Maze of Cheese. And then we got Robot Krabby Patties, which is an enemy we'll face much later, so we don't need to discuss them.
And then here come the gun bots. And... Yeah, there's that. Max hotness. <laughs> Max hotness, yeah. How far can we go? How far? I'd say we go all the way. Like, a director's commentary is talking about the whole thing. So, yeah, I do not know why we made it Robotnik's weird end. Don't, don't ask. As f and. As for why we called it the Gunbot, I'm not entirely certain. But we knew that it was going to be something. So we just said, make it a gun. A walking gun. Quickly. Um. <laughs> yeah, we changed this to the the Mario sixty four thing, <laughs> and then we changed it to say Scott Mac joined Mario Party. Mamma Mia. And then my, my favorite one. We got the diarrhea. <laughs> Scott Mike decides to social distance so that no one can tell him to wear a face mask. I'd like to add, I am not. Uh, an yes. an I'd like to add, I am not an anti-masker. I just, I just have medical conditions that prevent me from wearing on. And yeah, and you'll see Skidge do that a lot. He loves to do that for some reason. He likes making sure everyone has a seizure. Zoomies. Zoomies. And I don't know why we changed this to a cat headband. I did this. Why? Funny. Does that then mean that you're a furry then? <laughs> Cause Rousey is you? No, it makes Rousey a furry. <laughs> Rousey's already a furry. Oh, and this. K-Hog round. I don't even know what what were we originally gonna make this? I sent Scott an image of a Kermit coin once. Yeah, so Skidge had sent me an image of the Kermit and coin. Here. We he had sent me the image of the Kermit coin and I was like, you know what? Let's turn that into K round. I don't know why why did we change why did we change the the um the jigsaw guy to be Donkey Kong? I did this. Why? Why did we do this? Well why did you do that? NFTS suck and it funny. Oh yeah, the NFT joke. I forgot about that.
And then we got Tails' workshop. This is the first ever time you'll see a sprite that was used making Source Filmmaker. So I took, I think it was JC Thornton's model, and we we slapped an eye patch on it. Collaboration at its finest. Yeah, so... So what happened was, I made the pose in Source Filmmaker, which was then edited in GIMP by Skidge, and then he added an eye patch. Um, I can't remember, but who was it that made the background? Was it me? Yes. Yeah, because I'm just thinking, like, I think I added the Phantom Ruby on that wall thing. And yes, that plush on the top left, that is Tails Doll. Hamburger. As for sounds, um, we just went crazy with the sounds. I think out of all of them, like, Zaki is the most animated, but Watcher is the most comedic in, like, voice lines. Which kind of fits on Watcher's um, personality in a way. And this is the first instance we get to see of my evil, well, evil in a way. And we kept making the uh, like the joke that I wanted to recreate the Five Nights at Freddy's bite of eighty seven. Right, and from earlier, we can now talk about the Robo Krabby. Well, not Robo Krabby. We can now talk about the robot Krabby Patties. So, we. This was probably the first instance where we looked at an enemy and said, we actually have no idea what to do for this. So I just said, Robot Krabby Patties, and we were just like, let's go with it. As I said, that's basically our, our analogy for this whole game, just go with it. If it doesn't make sense, good. Just go with On it. On the poor block. Yeah, we did things on the fly a lot. Because we really badly wanted to get this game done to show off because it was just such an amazing concept that we had to do it. We did, this was probably one of the only games where, well not only game, but, well this is our only game, but this was the first time that we had a collaboration project that had an actual deadline, which was May 18th, that being the server's birthday. So, what ended up happening was, once we got the game done, I created a trailer in Wondershare Filmora, using footage that Sketch had provided with for me. And it was some out-of-date footage, but it was good. Um, yeah, I created the trailer which was then presented to the team on the team's birthday and yeah, that's basically how Kokoro got announced and it came as a big surprise because w this was probably the most anonymous project that we both worked on. We hinted that we were working on something. But this was the first project that we didn't tell anyone what we were doing. So this game is entirely a two-man crew. 
And I think it's, when I look back, I kind of think it's kind of amazing how much a two-man crew actually got done. I will admit there were times where we were sluggish and we didn't do work for like months on end. But eventually we got round and finished the whole thing. Um... I'm trying to think as, right, so dialogue wise, dialogue was also on the fly, but we had like random things, like for instance, the, the Mac bots there say, long live the guy who pays taxes, That that's a funny line, control control, that's just like a robot like thing to say. So sometimes they make sense and other times it's like, just say it out of random. I cannot remember, how did we come to the analogy of making it the green hell? With his goofy tiling. Yeah, it is. You, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of um, Sonic 3D Blast. I actually, looking at this now, the chest master is the only enemy that we did not change. Probably because we didn't know what to make it, like at all. So we just gave we up. We ran out of time. Yeah, we, we kind of we kind of did run run out of time, but we also had no idea what to make it. So we just left it, as you do with any problem. See, modern problems require modern solutions. And then we got the Among Us theme in the background. <laughs> and at that point, um, Sonic 2 had just released. So it was kind of makes sense to say that. And... Of course, because I'm related to Team Fortress 2, we had to make a joke about the bucket scene. <laughs> we had to. Amazing TF2 reference. Yeah, it is. It's one of the best references for That's Scott. Yep, thanks to me. Because, I mean, it's, it's like, I even sent an image to Skedge, which was the, the the bucket scene, but it had, like, Chris, Susie, Rousey, and Lance, or replace all the characters. Yeah, so there, there's multiple names that one could get, which is... It was the, the legendary hurl of sussy imposters, well, of no Among Us crewmates, which just get shortened down to the sussy imposters. The... What was the other one? The one that Watcher gives you? I know... <laughs> yeah. I know the the Scott Mac one, which is the short paper. 
that's just a bunch of swears put together. Because that is actually what it is in the game. And it and it is kind of something I would do. Like, come on, I would do that. But I can't remember what Watcher's one was. Oh boy, these guys. Mr. Society. <laughs> so we got Mr. Yossi. What? Mr. Yossi and Mr. Society. <laughs> Mr. Society's name. Oh, it's Mr. We Live in a Society. Right, okay. I just, I thought it was just, it stayed as Mr. Society. Best characters. <laughs> yeah, and the Yoshi doesn't have his eyes. His eyes are his nostrils. And this is probably the best joke coming up right now. Or at least the one that we spent the most time trying to perfect. Best one so far. Yep. The good old dummy feck Yako. Which was completely made in SFM, pixelated in GIMP, and then thickened. Too hot for TV. So hot for TV that your monitor's lights are already burning. <laughs> so. <laughs> This is Yako's true form in the Anvilania episode. <laughs> um, when he heals, we originally wanted to make it milk. Three. We wanted to make it milk so that we would reference the Yako milk fanfiction. But we decided to change it to the, the Yako soda for fun. What? And there's there's a Yako soda. Yako. Not as good as Bopi. I also made the joke that when he did the the throwing the stars, um attack that he was farting the stars. That was just kind of funny. In truth, we were lazy. We didn't we didn't want to make more sprites, so we just reused the sprite, made it thicker. If that's even possible for Fek Yako. That fig was extra thick! Band. Yeah, you might want to get used to sketch same band a lot. We made a call back to the cake being a lie. Posting memes in general. Mm -hmm. I'm not even a Reddit mod, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> and this joke, bad guy Billy Eilish. I think that was a joke that we some did, did did we take that joke from the the repeat? I remember doing conversation. Yeah, it, yeah, that that was one of our conversations. I was just thinking, did we steal that from the repaint? But I was like, nah, that's one of our conversations. Um, the forest. Yeah, the forest. We changed the forest. Like, what What was it? The, the Crimson Forest? Can't remember the old name, but we changed it to the Minecraft Forest and then added the... 
Yeah, we added um in the mushroom. Mamma Mia. Yeah, Mamma Mia indeed. And then the best but worst change we made, changing the rabbits to be rabbits. I can I kid you not, Christina was so tempted to kill these things. The bane of Christina's existence. Yes. And I, I'll put my hand up in a minute. That was the sole reason I put them in. I don't know why she wants to kill them. They're so cool. Why did we change the bush to be just a sprite tile of Mario's face? Again, the plot. The dark, sussy imposters. Yes, lady, girl boss. <laughs> yes, queen. Um, I'm just trying to think here. We've actually discussed quite a lot in regard to game so far. Because, I mean, as I said, and as Sketch keeps saying, a lot of the things we did was just on the fly. But I remember we started progress of the game back in, I think, September of 2019. Or, no, it was September 2020. Because we had a lot of time because of COVID and, like, quarantine and whatnot, but... Yeah, so we spent a lot of our time just doing this. Which I think is what contributed to helping get the game out. Scott can't do this part. E well, GG, get wrecked. <laughs> Shut up! No, I can't do the part. It's just I can't do the part without getting hit. Why? Why is ball tails there? Insect. Insect. Okay. There's another on the fly moment. You'll get the same response every time. Like, what else is there to talk about before we head off into the next section? I think we've, we've basically covered... Let's talk about drugs. <laughs> no! A <laughs> um... thing that everyone loves. Yes, the box. How can I forget about the box? Um, this monstrosity 
We just decided to turn it into the Amazon box. I originally wanted it to be... I can't remember, did I... Did I want it to be the... Uh, like... I smell pennies. <laughs> I smell pennies. Um... I wanted it to be the... Can't remember if the initial idea was to change it to the Roblox guy. But... But we decided to change it to the Amazon box for the sheer fun of it. Wukowski! I showed this to another server. Yeah, this... This was one of Skidge's creations, and it was... Hey, what was it was a nightmare. This is nightmare fuel. I just want to say that now. This is one of the highest quality sprites I've done in this game. And that's saying something. I'll say is a girl cannon. Then why is he called a prince? <laughs> so happy for her transition. Moving on. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I woke up at 3 a.m. and saw that thing at the end of my bed. I am Mike Wazoskayu. The bake sale. Oh yes, I remember the bake sale. Um, it was Skidge's idea to make the stand that Scott Mac and Unwatcher set at be the be the Krusty Krab. It's if no one ever noticed, the flags are literally the Krusty Krab. Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza. For you and For me. you and me. Um, I had created the Yakko stand for the for the Yakko. Well, not the Yak bot, but like the Mac bot. Um, what else was in this section? I know. Oh, Spike! Yeah, I forgot about Spike. <coughs> oh. Ugh. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Um,. See, I guess we're we're doing all the, the side mission things as well. Well, we gotta get the whole content thing out, I guess. Um. Yeah, I guess just enjoy the gameplay while we talk through. There you go, McDonald's child. <laughs> That's one way to describe yourself. Now die, you smelly old OC.
Mastery. So much for mastery. And yeah, we just... We changed all of the lines of the boxes to just be box. Oh wait, no, so we didn't change all the lines to just be box. Oh, this. Right. It was my idea to make it the Spongebob Goofy Goober thing. No, it was my idea. Was it? Because I remember... Information. I remember... One of us had shown us that, and we were like, oh my God, yes, we have to change it to that. GG easy. Sketch, can you please stop making Rousey have a seizure? Ah yes, I forgot that we added Robotnik's moustache onto Watcher here. Have we decided to change this to a PowerPoint for fun? Make an anime waifu for you to say presented by Watcher Industries, which was just made up right now. It literally... I wish I changed these more. Yeah, it literally was made up on the spot. What a hottie. <laughs> Skid, you've been on Deviant Art for too long. So when it came to the 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 star, what even is that? Is that Star Walker? But what ends up happening is if you head back. Yes, but it's not the original. Yeah, it's not the original Star Walker. Um, if you head back, you could see the original Skywalker. <laughs> the original look Skywalker. Check this out. Yeah, so 
part where we're getting the egg. We didn't change that. <laughs> yeah, currently we can't get skids to get the egg. Yeah, we give up with the egg. We didn't change anything about the egg anyway. G R R R R R R R R R R R R R. Yep, you could hear Skidge's frustration. I quite like this sprite of Scott Mac on the on the Sun Lounge. I think that's kind of a cool sprite. Luxury. Us. Yep. <clears throat> yep, that is that is a song. Thank you, Scott Mac. Fourth wall moment. Yep, fourth wall breaking. Part of my charm. Only the best of comedy here at Scott and Skidgy Studios. Yep. Comedy is our number one priority. Clickbait, go home. Right, this is probably one of my favorite fights. The fight between Rosie and Zaki and Skarmak and Watcher. I, I actually... Second best fight. Yeah, second best. First, probably the thick Yako. I actually originally wanted to make the the theme song for the battle be a Sega Genesis version of Lancer's battle theme because, well, I like Sega Genesis sounding songs and behold more Silva Gunner. Yeah, more Silva Gunner with Despacito. But yeah, I wanted to make a Sega Genesis rendition of Lancer's battle theme, but... Wait, actually, I think this is TGD. I don't know who it is. All I know, it's great. I actually wanted to change that axe through to be, um... The Green Goblin. Turner's great. Yeah. I wanted to change the... I wanted to change the axes to be the, the Razor Pumpkin Bombs from Spider-Man, like Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. But we didn't get enough time. Like, eventually it got to the point where we were developing this. And we realized, shoot, at some point we're going to run out of time and we're going to miss the deadline. And we didn't want to miss the deadline. So we had to cut back on some things. But I think... Personally, I think if we had more people on the job and we hadn't been so lazy, I think we could have made it even better.
That is the best spray. Best. <laughs> the best face spray ever. Christina broke. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone broke. He saw this. I think everyone broke when they saw it. I love how Watcher doesn't have a walk animation. Nor does Lancer. He just glides. Shout outs to Tony. <laughs> yeah, shout outs to Toby. <laughs> that laugh is probably the best laugh I've made for any game ever. It's just so villainous. I wish the change. Yes. What would you want to change it to? I will admit though, um, Watcher's laugh animation is really creepy when you look at it. He looks like a jack-o'-lantern when he laughs. I made it too scary. Yeah. <laughs> the scariest character is the one that's the least scariest. <laughs> Right, and this. Oh, so we swapped it. Yeah, there was a texture error with the castle that made it jittered around, so I think Sketch just made it still. This at the last moment. Yeah, so we just made it one frame. Well, Sketch made it one frame. Don't ask where I got the idea to make it Wily's castle. I just... Okay, I just thought, you know what? It'd be cool. I was going to make it Robotnik's lair, but nah, Wily's castle sends me More misinformation. Alright then, what's, what's the real information then? He needs his chicken nuggies. <laughs> Watcher must have the chicken nuggies! You need your crib. <laughs> yeah, so I thought if the... If the normal enemies are Yakko bots, then we'll make the... The ranged enemies wacko bots. <laughs> and then it magically changes to Wario's castle. Superior brother. What do you mean Wacko's a superior brother? They never came back. <laughs> yep. I mean, made another FNAF reference. There's... There's William Afton, aka the purple guy, in this... Ito. <laughs> yep. Ito. 
so that that that's a dark joke so the joke is is that in a in a Five Nights at Freddy's fan series he says Michael don't leave me here Michael help me exactly that but it was misinterpreted by so many people me included with Sketch we misinterpreted it as my toe so we made the joke that he stubbed his toe and so he said my toe don't leave me here my toe help me that's gotta hurt yeah so I don't know why we made the start. Well, actually, I do remember we made the um the start of the castle's entrance the FNAF area because originally it was just going to be the FNAF area, but we then decided to shift that over to here because I thought it kind of makes sense in a way. We wanted to include a FNAF reference somehow. It was gonna be random. This prison. Yeah. But then Scott suggested this. Yeah, we were just going to put like a bunch of random stuff in here, but I suggested, hey, why don't we make it the FNAF 3 minigame? And Skidge, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Skidge just was like, <gasps> HR. Gaming. Epic gamer moment. <laughs> it's just so weird seeing Springtrap in the back there. <laughs> Who were the eyes? Metal Gear. Well, the eyes, um... I don't recognize the eyes. Are the eyes Garfield? No, they're just eyes. I thought I thought it was Garfield. So the coming fight, the fight between Scott Mac and Watcher. You get good. Yeah. That this fight had one change which was the music was changed literally at the last minute because Kokoro was being shot in multiple parts and when it came up to this part I told Christina to swap the file and originally this one is no music IIRC yeah what happened was the original music was going to be Stardust Crusader from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah. But at the last minute, I had changed it to a MIDI remix that I had made of it. Well, not a MIDI remix of Stardust Crusader, it's a MIDI remix of Versus Susie. And the vine booms here is amazing. I also think the laugh animation of Scott Mac is amazing. So this Jojo. Is, so this is originally what it should sound like. Ora 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 ora. Now the thing that was interesting was when Here. we when we played this, um, a lot of people actually thought that in this moment Scott Mac was going to kill Watcher, and I thought that was amazing.
This is one big anime reference. I just realized Watcher is probably the most powerful character in the whole of Deltarune. He's taken like thousands of points off of damage. And then we got the Luigi crying pose. Bwomp. Bwomp. There's a bwomp face. It's Squid. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, Squidward is on a chair. So we're now approaching King's Castle. And we got King DDD in here. Um, it's him. We originally wanted to... Oh wait, yeah, we... So you did change it. Um, I made the suggestion that the knight that this King references be changed to Meta Knight. For fun. There's there's the original Luke Skywalker again. Well, I did it. My homie. <laughs> my DDD, -D -D, my homie. <laughs> this is the most trippy scene in my opinion. This is another joke me and Hamster have. We party in the elevator. Originally, when I saw the baldies in the background, I thought I was actually tripping. LMA. And here we go to a good part. I have played Mario Party. I have played Mario Party once before. The music that plays here is actually the music that we used in the trailer. And when I first heard it... This music kicks Yeah, it does. It does kick When I first heard it, I was like, yep. Now, this... It was originally going to be Sonic 
that was locked up inside of the in the jail. But I f- regular Sonic. Yeah, regular Sonic, normal everyday Sonic. But one of my IRL friends who saw the project suggested that it would actually be Fleetway Sonic that were to be locked up inside of the cage. And we rolled with that and it turned out good. This is why I'm always suggesting a corrupted Mega Man over Spamton. And here we go, Wario's Castle. Hey guys, we're Ryo here. Here comes the MacBot Rangers. You are unbanned from Spaghetti Gate. Spaghetti Day. So we're probably now going to see Skidge single-handedly defeat Fleetway Sonic in one turn. Watch this no hit. <laughs> You forgot to fix the key. Oh, I forgot to fix it. I need more food. Bruh. Don't tell me you don't have enough money. Okay. Now we're ready. Here we go. B-A-H-H. Here we go. 
I'm not even gonna talk, I'm just gonna let it happen. There goes a no hat run. Singer just said a word. Timing. Hey. And he's gone. GGSMH. You made that look easy. Chucky Cheesy.
Yeah, we thought this joke was uh -huh, funny. Part. Yeah, this joke was kind of funny. I took that door from potty emergency. <laughs> yep. So, the best creation I've ever came up with. Good old Wheatley Crab. It's him. It's the one and only Wheatley Crab, another SFM render. And to be honest, it works in a way. It works. It just, to quote Tom Howard, it just works. And so far, the rest of the stuff is just basically the same. There's an upgraded gun bot, and mainly you just see enemies again. I'll just sit back and wait until we get a new thing. This sucks. If the server wasn't as strict on swearing, you'd see a lot more bad no NOS. Welcome to Mean Hell. Ah yes, Wheatley Shop. I think I think Wheatley Shop is like the last SFM render of the game. I remember you you broke Wheatley's foot in half so that you could animate it. Big Potat OSS. Here we go, we get the thick boy again. It's our Lord and Saviour, thick Yako. Too hot for the box office. <laughs> But overall, now that I think about it, um, there's not that many changes left in the dark world now. Oh, there's this. The grab that Scott Max doing is based on a meme that I sent to Skedge once. This one. And we basically looked at each other and we said, like, let's just add this. So, so far, like, that's the only edited Rousey sprite. 
that and the reveal of Skidge at the end. But overall, that's it. That's it for changes. Just Rousey. Everything else is just the same. You just saw the crown slide off for a moment. It's time. Oh yes, it's time for the biggest change of all. So, we decided to make the Battle Arena Doc Ock's nuclear reactor. Look at this silly room. Yes, this extremely silly room with the sun. And originally I wanted to keep the silhouette the same. I pulled it from Google. <laughs> yeah, he just pulled it from Google. Um, originally I wanted to keep the silhouette the same. But Skidge had changed it. And we've we alluded to many times in the in the dialogue who it could be. Even the music hints at it. Um, as for the music, I found this while playing the Spider-Man PS4 game and I was like, you know, this song actually works. And so we used it. Fingers. Yeah, butterfingers. And then this is probably the one joke I loved making. The dramatic reveal of who the main villain is. And we decided to make it none other than Dr. Arthur Octavius. And I'd like to add that we did this for one sole reason. But fact, the final boss's theme was gonna be different. It actually was, yeah. Um, originally we wanted to make it um, King's theme. But with Doc Ock saying Butterfingers... It was gonna be Chaos King Butterfingers over all instruments. Yes, but when we tried it, it just sounded horrible. And when I found this boss theme, I was like, right, this works. Because, like, this is Doc Ock's boss theme in a Spider-Man game. But as to why we made it Doc Ock, it was because one of his attacks has the king move the battle arena That'll around. That'll be yeah. I mean, never. So, because of the way that he moves the thing, I was like, that's like Doc Ock. And we also decided to make a sneaky callback to the Delta and Repainted mod. Because if you hear the noise that's made as he moves the arena is Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man screaming. Hey, watcher for liking Spider-Man. I, and that as well. I like Spider-Man as well, don't get me wrong. And it was also good because No Way Home had just came out. So we had a lot of material to work with. Although I would like, like if I ever get the chance to redo this, I would redo that sprite again. Doc Ock is, like, surprisingly Doc Ock is the only sprite which I actually did. Completely. Yeah. Um, Skidge had done a, like, Skidge had done a, a clear up on his face, but overall, the majority of Doc Ock's sprites is actually just me. So there's like a real sense of accomplishment when I look at this and I'm like, I actually made that. I wanted to make it Robotnik, don't get me wrong, but we decided to change ways from the Delta Room repainted mode. Oh, ow! Whacked my finger against my... my I whacked my butter finger against my ruler.
Don't lie, Scott, that was Doc Ock pinning your hand. <laughs> yeah, it probably was. He's just like, I don't like what you're saying about me. But yeah, I think- I will not die. Yeah. I personally think that Doc Ock is one of the best bosses in this. Even though he's hard to an inexperienced player, he's actually... I think he's the mo well, most designed when it comes to this game. Sure, Thick Yako is the thickest of them all, but in actual scale of design, I think Doc Ock wins. <laughs> there goes your new hit run again. Rowling. Yeah. And yes, Skidge purposely added the single dot, the single pixel in the in the middle of the battleground for the sheer of annoying everyone. Trollage. Yeah, trollage, in other words. Me win. Here we go, the first time we see Skomag's eyes. This Doc Ock is inaccurate, he doesn't wear a shirt. <laughs> well, it's not like we could have done that. Dad bot. <laughs> Dad bot. And we, and we just decided we were going to make all of the enemies during that crowd be the actual enemies they bring. Glasses run in the family. <laughs> yeah, but we decided 
You know what? Just make it wacko from the multiplication thing. Shave DK. Oh my It's like shaved like Chewbacca. Why did why did we even do that? I I think that was Why? I think that was you. <laughs> yeah, on the fly. I forgot about that. Joel reference. I got We originally had, um, there was an error in the script during the initial playthrough, <laughs> which we got oversighted. And so, in, in the playthrough, like, playlist, you could see there's an error when you talk to Wheatley Crowd at this point. Unauthorized script error. <laughs> yeah. Blow it up now. Yeah, blow it up. <laughs> Here we go, the big plot twist that everyone was waiting for. Best part. Yes, the part where we get told to eat cement. Wet cement, to be specific. But yeah, this scene actually surprised people. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, yummy, yummy. <laughs> um, yeah, this scene completely surprised everyone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why we made that joke there that Scott Mac kind of likes Ramsey, but I don't know. The portal of memes. Wowie. I see Walter White! <laughs> yeah, so basically that concludes the Dark World, in essence. Our weird cryptic fantasy land was just a bunch of Reddit memes and Discord memes and experiences and whatnot, but all came together and I think that went pretty well. So the last thing to cover is hometown. I'm with you in the cheese. <laughs> um, so yeah, hometown. 
Hometown was actually a big mystery for the both of us. We didn't know what to make. Mario for doing the falling sounds. Yeah. Um. We couldn't figure out what to make hometown, but we certainly knew what to make this. And yes, if you look at the top right on that cupboard, that is bold and bash. Although I... More like... <laughs> More like belongs in the trash! We got the, the Tails doll over there. Chest piece, the bikini bottom layout. I don't know why an iPhone is there. It's called Bold and Brash. Average high school. Yep, average high school. No, we won't. Not until we get chapter two done. Me and my homies hate Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> yeah, I hate Alvin as well. Um... So yeah, Hometown. Hometown was basically the final thing we had to do. And we did not know what to make of it. So we just... We just added a bunch of random stuff we had. Um, Scout's Diner. We changed Icy's restaurant to be the Five Nights at Freddy's. Like Barry B. Benson, obviously. With Jamie, Pancake, Spampton, and the Blue Bird from... Um... What not? And I personally decided... <laughs> Blue bird. Um, I decided to make it that if you interact with the computer hall, um, and well, not the computer hall, the computer door, it actually says about me and Skidge, because I we like to make callbacks to ourselves in a way, and so when you go into the computer door, it says um. Live with the window in the computer lab. There seems to be two warners inside working at computers. Seems like they're making a repaint. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt them. Seems like when the repaint's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the warners. And of course, that's a callback to us. Now the warners are playing Gmod. Yep, and another callback. They're not doing any work. This might take a while. And yes, it does take a while. We've got Waluigi. A hospital that's named Spit. Long. Yeah. And then we got the purple guy.
This face is perfect. Yes. Her <laughs> jobs for Twitter. A warner named Scage is living inside the school's walls. Why I show up? There's no laws against Warner so that's what Twitter to do. It really is. Yeah, and there's a reference to me. Scottish boy. And then it there's the lips from the from the Dairy Queen ad. So, Phil, is it? So Scott. Is it? <laughs> it explodes. <laughs> no, it wasn't. And then we got in here. Christina and Anime Yako, because Christina loves Anime Yako. Well. I hope it doesn't crash here. Oh, so we fixed it. Woo! Yeah, we had a bug where when one of the audios played. I was so lazy, I make an animation for Christina. <laughs> yeah, she just glides on the floor. <laughs> She's floating like a Gary's Mod ragdoll. could have changed the dialogue a bit there but I think what happened was near the end we were both like kind of bothered we were just like we, we just we wanted to get the project done and over with because we'd been working on it for so long we didn't want to scrap it but at the same time we wanted it done and out the road so I think we rushed the last parts of it I didn't even know you changed the gravestones. See, even even as developers don't know, what, even as developers don't know what goes on. Squidward religion, no way. Squidward was on a chair all along. And then he became a god! <laughs> Squidward on a chair ascended. Is that Master Hand? Yes. So we got Master Hand, Winnie the Pooh, and Seinfeld. Wrong, that's George. George from Seinfeld. Brush up your Seinfeld lore, SMH. I don't watch Seinfeld, okay? Can't give me a break. The only scene I've ever seen is the one where he eats out of the trash can. God, we will watch Seinfeld. You see an octopus in this in the trash can, and what do you think? What the heck? I'll eat some trash. No, 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 no! It was not trash. No way, sense. But... <laughs> Wasn't. <laughs> was it in the trash? Yes. Then it was trash. 
Um, Skidge personally changed Sans. I didn't have a problem with Sans, but Skidge apparently had a problem with Sans, so he changed the sprites. <laughs> Sketch really? <laughs> hey, what it's blurry. We've got Scout's Diner. Scout's Diner is actually cut off. SMH, they killed Scout. <laughs> yeah, Freddy Fazbear's pizza. <laughs> and I love that you just put End Me at the top of it. Yeah, so the full sprite has Scout on it, but because of the height limitation, you can't see it. Wait, is that spaghetti in a maid outfit? Yes. Oh my... Sketch, what am I going to do with you? What am I seriously going to do with you? Um... So yeah, we were just filling hometown with just random stuff at this point. We, like, at first everything had a somewhat logical reasoning, but as time went on, we just said, screw it, let's just make it random. And random, we did. Next time we eat a salad. <laughs> You've got Garfield, of course. Hit the bricks, pal, you're done. <laughs> Do you really have to quote every scout lane? Hey, Pat Cakes, those hard arteries don't block bullets, do they? <laughs> you know what they should do? I know this isn't related to, um, Coco Run. If they ever make a Team Fortress 2 movie, they need to cast Germa as... as scout. And yes, this is the Among Us house. Real estate. <laughs> yes. And then we got Heavy Weapons Guy. And Heavy was specifically added because we wanted, because my tongue didn't work there. 
Christina, when I got Christina into Team Fortress 2, she loved the heavy weapons guy, and we just said, let's add him in. Team X in FIC win. And then he did the tea pose. Repair a moment. Yeah, we... We should have changed the truck. We should have had... I almost heard you. Yeah, we should have changed the truck to have... Um... Heavy's gun. Is that, is that the Smash Bros emblem?! <gasps> No words, huh? No words. I'm I'm just shocked. So yeah, I guess with that, there's nothing really to conclude. No, that's basically it. Insanity. So yeah, um, what else could we talk about? Because I think that's it. Um, the final change was, um, what's it called? Don't forget being sung by me, Christina, and you. Which was an interesting surprise, because I had to trick Christina into actually singing that. Try walking. Yeah. Hamburger. The McDonald's is cooling. Yep. Who eats cold hamburgers? Me. Well, I guess that concludes the director's Stop. commentary. I didn't even realize there's an Among Us there. Wow. And this is the final scene of Kokoro. I will say, Sketch, this was a great project that we had worked on. Hopefully we can make this just as good for Chapter 2. Yeah. That's it. That's the director's commentary of Kokoro Rune. Well, I guess the one thing I can say in this scene. Chunga Sonic is sleeping. He stopped hitting the Yoinki Sploggy. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was my idea to change the chest in the room to be Davy Jones's chest. 
because of the whole pull out the heart, put the heart in the chest. That was my idea. And the final idea that was given was to yet again take a page out of the repainted project and make Zaki do the Fortnite dance. And with that, it's done. That was Kokoro I guess the final thing I can say is something personal to me. This song, for some odd reason, made me choke Maui. up. It made this song made me choke up a couple of times when singing, which made it that my performance in this is actually not to the best of quality. But still, this was a great game to work on. I'm with you in the dark. I'm in the light, where are you guys? <laughs> we're all in the dark, we're on the dark side. And that's that. See ya.